Lady, you know, so you know when you meet a Hollywood star, yeah. you kind of usually shake their hand. Yes. You sometimes you a get a formal sometimes. Sometimes, uh, sometimes you meet the man who played Aquaman and is now in a new series called C for Apple TV, and he's he's big, and he's friendly, and it started off like this. Oh my goodness! Oh, nice to meet you. Interesting concept. Yeah. Um, so everyone is blind. The world is blind. The world 600 is blind. years in the future, yeah, there's a virus that, from like this point on, the even idea of sight is a, a heresy. You train for something. But we had a coach like for many different, we had a, we had a blind coach and then we had a, a movement coach and we spent a solid month doing these workshops, which I've never done on any show before. And Francis was kind of like, you don't have to do it. Francis being? The director, Francis. Um, Lawrence and so he's like you don't have to do it but if you if you if you enjoy it and you find something that you can use feel free but it's not like mandatory for me it was like very challenging because I don't really do the whole acting class thing like I, I'm not very good at that in Why? the whole group I don't know that? I just haven't had that experience of just I'm always like, skeptical about certain things and so it was a really breakthrough for me so you know breaking through with my own ego problems of certain things and so it was it was phenomenal. Did you notice any other senses being heightened when oh, you were absolutely. doing the training? Tell me. Um, just, I mean, for one, it's just knowing your space and really feeling like what occupies negative space and like, you know, echolocation and how you can... About if you had to lose one of your senses. Which I'd actually take sight away after this experience. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's the cool thing about the show is that once we do bring sight back, you're going to see how polluted and how destructive it is compared to all the other senses and how it imprisons. Oh, sorry. Mom, you gotta be quiet. On the interview. Mom, Your mom's here. She's all proud. So that's my boy. Your mom was whispering then. Yeah, I know, mom's whispering. Is she, a big, is she your biggest critic? Uh, no, no. Well, uh, constructively. No, no, mom's, moms are like blindly, like just the proud. Um, you alluded to the training, in the training, mm. having to tackle your ego as an actor. I think it's just doing the work in front of someone, like, you know, wanting to know what you, like I know what I want to do. You know, we all have ego, right? So it's just like letting go of certain things. Do you know what always, always intrigues me about tall people is that you're physically imposing. Mm -hmm. But I always find with tall people that although they may be fierce in sight, they don't have bad tempers because they're yeah. aware it's of like the, the ferocity. Like, yeah, I think it's like the dog thing, you know, like a big dog's just kind of chilling. You get the little ones like, ah, and he's just like, what's up, dude? <laughs> like, he's not that tough, and they're just like, Little dogs always nipping at it. Those are like the tough ones, right? Yeah. I want um, a lesson in love from you, please. I have no idea. Well, I think your eight-year-old my... eight self had an ambition. Did he? Not to do this. I was definitely into saving, you know, I wanted to be a marine biologist and I wanted to do, help animals and wildlife biology and stuff like that. So. What I'm alluding to is your ambition to marry your wife. Oh, I wouldn't say, you know, that was just, you know, she was definitely the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. I never thought it would actually happen, so. This is Lisa Bonet. Yeah. You yeah. saw her in, what, The Cosby Show? Different one? Yeah, 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 Cosby Show. <laughs> so, a lesson to anyone, any young boy out there, young child out there. Dream big, man. Yeah, dream big. I wish you well. Thank you. Oh, my goodness, oh, nice to meet you. George, just want to tell us how, how big he actually is? How tall is he? Six foot seven. Six foot seven, So and I, and I, I'm what? Five four on a very good day. His wife Lisa Bonet. I've been hearing smirks in the gallery when I say my height. Um, and fi his wife Lisa Bonet is five foot one. He'd be useful in a, a rugby jersey, wouldn't he? Yes, very much. So.